So, Anne, going to you, do you agree that prayer is powerful? And if your answer is yes, in your own understanding, in your own wisdom and knowledge, what does prayer mean to you and why do you pray? Thank you for your wonderful question, Sky. For me, prayer is powerful and should not be underestimated. You mentioned in your book, in this chapter, that you started reading the Bible when you were in college. Remember the story, Elijah? He prayed earnestly that it would not rain, and it did not rain on the land for three and a half years. And then, and the heavens gave rain, and the earth produces its crops. See, God most definitely listens to prayers, answers prayers, and moves in response to prayers. Jesus said that if we have faith as small as a mustard seed, we can say to the mountain to move and it will move. Again, he prayed, nothing will be impossible. The power resides to the God in who is being prayed to. That if we ask God anything according to his will, he hears us. No matter the passion behind the prayer or the purpose of the prayer, God answers prayers that are in agreement in his will. His answers are not always Yes, but in our always best interest. And when we pray passionately, God, according to his will, God responds powerfully. There is no magic formula. Our prayers being answered is not based on the eloquence of our prayers. We do not have to use certain words or phrases to get God to answer the prayers. In fact, Jesus rebukes those who pray using repetitions. The Bible tells us, and when we pray, do not keep bobbling like pagans, for they do not think or will be heard because of many words that they use. Do not be like them, for Father knows what we need before we ask Him. Kai, prayer is communicating with God. All we must do is ask God to help His help and speaks from our hearts. If you remember in the book of Psalm, people cried out to the Lord in their trouble, and He brought them out in their distress. He stilled the storm and the waves of the sea were hushed. They were glad when it grew calm and he guided them to their desired haven. And so prayer is powerful. Or shall I say there is power in prayer? Just like you, Kai, God has been my constant companion, not only at my weakest moments, but in my daily life. And I make sure that I always communicate with him through my prayers. And I take that seriously. I want to end this with a quote that really inspired me, found on page 101 of this chapter nine, quote, and I quote, why do I always find the courage to overcome obstacles in life? It is because Jesus is my partner, from the author Kai Hayes. And for our viewers, get inspired. If you want to get inspired, I highly, highly recommend this book, Line at Heart, Discovering Courage and Greatness Within. Back to you, Kai. Oh, my goodness, Anne, you filled my spirit. Wow, what great wisdom you have. Oh, you filled my heart. Thank you so much for sharing your heart to that tonight. You are indeed a woman of God. You are real. You're raw. And you all are. And I am just so honored and blessed to have you as the founding members of Line at Heart Freedom Journey Movement. I am so refreshed tonight. Okay, you guys, so thank you for being with me today, and we are here for you. Ciao now.